Okay, as we saw in our last video, we changed the channel setting on our Manta board to channel 40. I um, want to be really quick because I'm running out of both battery power and space on the iPad to show you how to transfer that new channel to your remora. Okay, this is a new style remora. Um, again, in another video, I'll run through all the new aspects of remora, but uh, we're just doing the change channel in this video. So, with a standard servo connection plug, we connect it like so. The um, ground pin is to the outside of the board, signal pin to the inside. Same follows on on um, on a Manta board. So there is a connection up in here, ground to the outside, signal to the inside, and we connect uh, and our remora up like so. Okay. Now, what we need to do is disconnect the power to our Manta. Because like changing channel mode, we need a combination of pins, well, buttons here uh, to let us know, to let Manta know what to do. Okay, so we've got this connected up. We don't disconnect the jumper, leave that connected. Uh, unlike the change channel, this time we're only going to be pressing the uh, switch B, switch B there, as we power up. That will send information through to... Remora, and if we're successful, we'll see a combination of uh, lights flashing, the two LEDs on Remora flashing to indicate that we've had a successful change of channel. So let's do that. Let's press, let's press down on channel B and attach our power. And we'll just hold it there until if we get a successful, there we go. So that has successfully changed the channel on Remora. And by the way that is flashing, I know it's uh, channel 40. So that is all done. So we can uh, disconnect the powered everything. And we now have a Remora that has had its channel changed to channel 40. Very simple process.